Well, hello there. You're watching Go Island, the Fringe Theater Edition. Aaron Vissia Financial Go Island is brought to you by Aaron Vissia Financial. Well, hello there. You are watching Go Island, the delicious, fringelicious edition. And if you don't know what that's about, well, you're about to find out because we're here with Gwen Hunt, the artistic director of the second annual Alberni Valley Theatre Fringe Festival, which if you didn't know anything about, you got to find out. Gwen, this is so exciting. Yeah, we're really great to be back this year. It's ha we're really happy about it. We had a super fabulous year last year. We had about a thousand people come out to the festival, which was pretty good for a first year. So. I think you were even surprised at the response. I was, yeah. yeah. I was really surprised that we, it, it was just so many people came and everybody appreciated it so much that uh, it was one of the best festivals I've done and I've done 17 years of festivals on the mainland. Holy Toledo, 17 yeah. years of festivals, yeah. and this is one of the best. And if there's people out there that don't know what a Fringe Festival is, what is it? It's live, unjuried theatre. So you can get the good, the bad, and the ugly, but it's always usually good. <laughs> <laughs> so last year it was very, yeah. very good. Yeah. Um, how, many, how many performances this year? Uh, we have 14. Uh, I believe we had 19 last year, but this year the shows that are coming from Victoria, most of them are an hour and a half long, so we couldn't take as many people. It's not because they didn't want to come. We just couldn't get as many shows in. So we have um, the main stage at the Capitol Theater, and then we have the Bavarian Center where we have some smaller shows, and we're also doing an on and at the Fringe art show, um, so people can come and see art, and there's uh, live music and body painting and a few other surprises. <laughs> <laughs> this is just so exciting. This seems like the arts are just beginning to explode in Port Alberni, our own second annual Fringe Festival. 14 productions to take mm -hmm. in. That's amazing. You must be very proud. Oh, I am. Yeah, it's great. Uh, people want to just keep coming, <laughs> so that's great. So we just got to encourage the audiences to come out and keep supporting it. I mean, the Capitol uh, Theatre and the Portal Players support us and that's the only reason that we can do this and we did get a couple of small grants this year from the city and the rotary club so that really helps out as well and now we just need the audiences to come out buy a fringe pass 84 dollars it's 115 dollar value you get to see all the shows unbelievable 14 performances for 85 dollars we're going to tell you a little bit more 84. just 84 <laughs> 84 see i was going to overcharge you <laughs> We're going to be back in just a few minutes telling you a little bit more about the different venues, the different times, when and where you can find information, and we're going to talk to a couple of performers. But first off, I found out for sure the Alberni Valley Lions Club have your number, they really do, and Jenny Fortin met a car enthusiast with a cause. <laughs> probably recognize that voice. That's Misha Monroe. She's been on Go Island many times before. She's performing today because she's promoting her participation in the Fringe Festival. The Alberni Valley Theater Fringe Festival starts on Thursday. Misha's performing on Saturday. Misha, this is so exciting. It is <laughs> second year. And you loved the first year. Oh, it was awesome. That was actually uh, the first music festival I've ever played at. So, uh, you know, uh, I just want to play music all my life, and uh, I like festivals. So Misha's performing in a new venue for the festival this year. You're at the Bavarian Center? Yes. When and what time? 
It's uh, 7 p.m. <laughs> on Saturday, and uh, it's at the Bavarian Center. Now, that's Saturday, June 21st, a week from now, 7 p.m. at the Bavarian Center. Tickets are just $6. This is one of the 14 performances you can take in at this year's Fringe Festival. And I've got another writer-producer here. This is Joan Donaldson Yarmy, who has written and produced a play. Yes, I have. It's uh, based on a short story I wrote, and I call it a wickedly twisted comedy. It stars um, Scott Lowe and Nona Hawley from uh, the Portal Players here in Port Alberni. And if anybody wants to make their acting debut, we do have a party scene that uh, if you wish to come in and take part of it, um, just let me know when you come to the theater and you're welcome to step on stage. Holy samole, you can show up to watch the play and you can be part of it. That's amazing. That wouldn't happen anywhere except at a Fringe Festival, I don't think. So thank you both of you lovely ladies for telling us about it. It's going to be an exciting festival, a big weekend in the Alberni Valley. And we're going to be back in just a minute to tell you where you can get tickets to all of the events, get one of those $84 passes. It's a wonderful deal. But first, we've got a couple more stories for you to watch. Well, welcome back. You are still watching Go Island. We are still talking about the second annual Alberni Valley Theatre Fringe Festival. It's going to be such a big event. One week from now, it's going to start on Thursday. What's the date on Thursday, Gwen? June 19th. Thursday, June 19th it starts. So it's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Friday and Sunday. And Sunday. Yep. Four-day festival, 14. Any of them stand out to you? Any of the performances? Uh, well, they all do, but I really want to encourage people to come to the Thursday night. There's four local shows. There's Jones, my show, Jason Tidian, and then there's also the improv group. So that's something I really want to point out. But there's a lot of great shows. Uh, the Hatter from Richmond, he's an excellent performer. There's um, the Human Body Project, which is, which is paradigm shifting. There is... Um, and I believe it's naked. It, well, she's protesting yeah. the vulnerability yeah. of where we are in the world. It's mm -hmm. a really interesting concept, different mm -hmm. show, but as different as you're going to get, <laughs> as, but as fringy as you're going to get. And then there's some... Um, you know, the burlesque show was back from last year that was so popular, and there's uh, a woman who's coming from Victoria who's doing a show called My Anxious Life, and we have three clowns from Victoria doing Dancing with Fish. Wow. It's a real variety, a really good variety. Such yeah. an enormous variety. Where can people get the full listing? Uh, on alberni.ca Art Matters Society. Uh, it's also in the papers, like it's going to be on the wrap on Thursday. It's also in Artlink magazine, and uh, they can come into Main Artery and buy tickets, and they can uh, get information then. Perfect. And I know, we, we already know, the passes to every show, $84. Yeah. You've got a weekend pass. Individual tickets available here in advance? Yeah, yeah. and the tickets are anywhere from $6 or $5, actually, to 12 is the most expensive. Yeah, most of them are 8 it's going to be a wonderful yeah. event. We really need people to come out and take part. Yeah, we do. And just like last year, it's going to happen. <laughs> I can hardly wait. We're going to be back actually early next week talking to Jason Tiddian about another one of those Thursday night performances. There's too much to talk about here. We, yeah, I mean, you is. really need to go <laughs> online and get all of the deets, yeah. as they say. That's right, yeah. There's, there's a lot of, lot of information. Most of the shows run twice. So, And you can, if you get the pass, you can probably see every show this year because we, we kind of tried to make it so that everybody could really get their money's worth. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Gwen, thank you so much okay. for telling us about it. June 19th, 20th, 21st and 22nd, second annual Alberni Valley Theatre Fringe Festival happening right here in your hometown. <laughs> That does bring us to the end of another show. Make sure you check out this year's Theater Fringe Festival right here in the Alberni Valley. It's going to be a great event. Until we meet again, be good to each other. Aaron Vissia Financial Go Island is brought to you by Aaron Vissia Financial, supporting community and providing personalized advice and service to clients since 1996. Our team is ready to help you with your financial future.